All right, so this is it. This is the third month of DX. It's the third month they're killing me. I'm biting my hands, my fists, banging my head on the table. <laughs> this time they tell us that there's problems with customs. Loot crates are killing me. And of course, we're on the East Coast, so I don't know if they're trying to get us to move to California or not, because <laughs> I'm sitting there looking on the internet and not looking at anything, and people have got the DX out. We just got it. And as you can see, the box is goofed up as always. Yeah. But here it is. Yep. It's, it's June. We've got the mega unboxing you folks said you wanted us to do. We've got the core crate, the DX, the theme is dystopia. Everybody, I'm Scott. And I'm Kendra. Welcome to another Guru Review. All right, so this is the third month of DX. It's the third month it's been late. The first time we did the comparison between the two, mm -hmm. a lot of people seem to like that. Uh, last month we did a separation, so we put them back together to do another mega unboxing. What kills me is every month there's been some kind of delay. Yeah. We got a letter from them saying, hey, there's something with customs. Now it could be the theme, because the theme for June was dystopia, which is some kind of an imaginary place where everything is horrible. And you know what is horrible? <laughs> Getting our loot yeah. crate late. Now dystopia can hold a lot, obviously. That could be sci-fi, it could be horror. Uh, but we've got some big name movies in here this month. Um, we saw Matrix, Robocop, Terminator 2. Judgment Day, I'm mm -hmm. assuming because that was just a place of happiness and yes. joy. <laughs> Uh, Fallout 4. Fallout 4 and Bioshock, which I'm definitely excited to see what they included. Great theme. We've gotten stuff from those video games and movies before. We're big fans of a lot of that yes. stuff. Yeah. So uh, excited to get into this. And of course, the anticipation has mounted because we had to wait so long. Well, then you get dystopian film. We're going to definitely keep the suspension for you guys. So we're going to do the monthly first and keep the DX for last. So let's get into it. Pretty small basic crate this time. Yes. I was going to say, um, this reminds me of the first few uh, loot crates that came out. Just the size and everything, so we'll have to see. Weight's not bad. Yeah. The DX is a lot heavier, yes. but you know, we've said it, especially with another one of the subscription boxes, good things come in small packages. Yeah. So, see. We're hoping for good things. Oh, I see Matrix. Ooh, oh, Jamala. Cool. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm happy. I haven't said it for a while because it really hasn't been, but this is really, really cool what we got yeah. going on here, and I'm just kind of, and that looks, oh, go ahead, that's cool. Oh, I'm going to get this right off the top. Um, it's a little packaging for Bioshock Infinite, and it's a key. Oh, it fell out. Oh, that's really cool. That is neat. All right, so of course, one of my favorites. Great stuff in mm -hmm. there, just falling all over the place. A shirt. Oh, oh, oh nice. Really cool. Nice. Huge fan of the original Robocop movie. That's really cool. Uh, loved it. Uh, saw it in the theater. The remake, uh, the reboot was, was solid. Mm -hmm. um, Robocop 2 and 3, I don't know, it kind of lost its luster, but that's, that's neat. And the Robocop, um, they released like an extended version, right? Like the theatrical and the DVD versions were completely different. They did, they did. Which we're hearing apparently the same thing about the new Batman vs Superman movie, mm -hmm. that the extended DVD edition is completely different and fans are apologizing to Zack Snyder on Twitter and it's a huge thing. Um, I have not seen Batman vs Superman. You would think being such a huge Wonder Woman fan, I would have seen it, but just with so many bad reviews, I, I couldn't I couldn't see it. I couldn't be let down about Wonder Woman, so I just didn't even watch it. But but now that we have so many fans raving about the movie, I'm definitely going to take the time and, and watch it. So. Yeah, so we, I'm sure it will be out on digital mm -hmm. copy soon if we can get the director's cut with over 30 minutes of yeah, additional something, footage. Yeah, something like that. And, you know, a lot of times that does happen. Mm -hmm. uh, director's cuts, you know, uh, usually change the scope of everything, even back, like, uh, Ridley Scott's Blade Runner. Yeah. Uh, theatrical version was definitely had a different tone to it than, than the director's cut. Uh, that's a whole other conversation. But, um, yeah, and looking forward mm -hmm. to it. Uh, you know, I've seen snippets, but I'd like to see it, and I guess I want to see it in the best form yeah. possible to get, you know, that first impression. Yeah, I mean that's cool. That's that looks like. And we have a follow uh, dwarfs. 
And this is really cool. Really? I've been getting more into Fallout uh, really recently, cool. with the release of Fallout 4. So this is cool. Um, doesn't look like it's a Loot Crate exclusive, but it is still really cool. It's something we wouldn't normally pick up, so. No, no, but you know, if I walk by and I saw that on the shelf, I'd probably scoop it up. Not, yeah. I don't know a lot about Fallout, but it does look really neat, the armor plating. At a brief glance, it almost looks like Star Wars ass mm -hmm. Stormtroop or something. Outstanding. Ah, now, see, I'm on the fence here because, hmm, ooh, well, maybe. I don't know, is that a blind box or what is that? It's a puzzle. Hello. Okay, so, all right, so I was a huge and still am huge Matrix fan, uh, and we've got a puzzle uh, which. Looks like it's a 300 plus piece puzzle. It's 11 by 14 inches. We'll get a close up then actually of the picture that's supposed to go on there. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know why there's a warning on it for 17 plus because it doesn't look like it's anything graphic, but that's pretty cool. Yeah. Matrix was awesome. Uh, the trilogy I really like. Mm -hmm. I know towards the third, it got a little, depending on how diehard you were, uh, but definitely worth the view. Second one, I was one of my favorites, mm -hmm. but the first was of course classic. Yes, yeah. Huh. Go ahead. Oh, no, there's a, yeah, but the. Oh. Okay. Oh, this is cool. Uh, let's see. So it's June 2016 Lupin, and it's an atomic bomb, it looks like. It's actually pretty cool. It looks very, like, retro 50s style, which I like. Because so. they didn't hurt as much back then. <laughs> yeah. Tell that to Japan. Um. <laughs> All right, so this is this is neat. This is like a metal tin from Terminator 2, uh, one of my favorite films uh, back in 1991. Uh, I was living in LA at the time, saw this then, seen it multiple times, director's cut of that, uh, which added little bits of stuff in here. That's really neat. That's the second Loot Crate tin we've gotten um, in the past few months, the other one was with the 30th anniversary edition of the Aliens with the Queen tin was with just absolutely super sexy. Uh, check that out. We do have that up on our channel. And this one, it's like beveled or uh, molded. And it looks like you could like cook a pancake or something in here. The box is really cool. Mm -hmm. uh, it does have instructions for flipping inside out. Uh, that is neat. And of course, we've got the infamous magazine. And Loot Crate just keeps adding to their arsenal of ways to take money away from you. Uh, so kudos to the creative department there because they've got, I think, a few more crates coming out now. Uh, Ghostbusters limited edition crate, of course, I believe I got chipping notification. We do have one of those coming, oh, yeah. which I thought yeah, I had to do it. Yeah. Um, and then they've got uh, the Halo uh, crate mm -hmm. that's coming out uh, along with the Firefly one. Yes, I know they have it. Uh designated firefly crate every month now we haven't gotten it but i've seen a few and you know i mean i think the uh the amount of attention that tv series got after it was out of production is amazing i mean you know it almost mm -hmm. smells like reboot because i mean everybody just keeps talking about it and talking about it and uh you know i may even have to check it out uh but they got the halo legendary crate coming out they just announced today the uh the loot for fangirls crate very cool yes. uh, which is going to be a special edition crate celebrating women in walking dead borderlands star trek you know the female strong characters uh and there's something from uh her universe in it but uh it just came out the uh, email today so uh if you're a lady or not you should check it out <laughs> crate. yeah and uh, the Mega Crate, again, as always, just looks really cool. Uh, looks like they've got a six scale Robocop there from Sideshow Collectibles uh, and Hot Toys. Uh, when he's in the chair, it's neat. A computer, a Bioshock Skyhook prop mm -hmm. replica by NECA. Cool. Uh, wow, Terminator Anthology, uh, and, the com and then the, uh, the Mini Mega. Uh, the Complete Matrix Trilogy. Uh, very cool. And, and they keep talking about loot anime. Yes, I'm gonna sign up for it. I need some anime in my life. So I think I'm gonna sign up for it. Plus you get a free trial of Crunchyroll, uh, which is always good. 
Final thoughts, at least for the core crate, uh, did not disappoint. Uh, happy, at least as always, we look for at least one good item for each of us that we're excited about. And Sky and landed on the desk. Yeah. You should check it out. It actually <laughs> happened that way. <laughs> so yes, this thing looks like it's been through a war. Um, but there's definitely something like really heavy right here, so I'm interested to see. Definitely what it is. out of the three, the second heaviest. The first one, of course, the X oh, was yes. the heaviest one we had. Oh, the, the, the glass tumblers, tumblers were yeah. fantastic. Uh, last one wasn't quite as heavy, but great stuff. Mm -hmm. So super, super excited to see what's in here especially if it's carrying this theme along. So hopefully we will be happy for the weight. Yes, and the paper actually, it did work because it's already like half open and I was tempted to look today and I was taking it out from the mailbox and the paper blocked everything. So the paper does work. Oh, good. Yes. Good, the wrapping paper. Yes. Oh, so we could open this up here and show you wrapping paper like we always do. Yeah. <laughs> Which is, look at that sexy wrapping yes. paper. <laughs> So they tried looking in, or it just conveniently got kicked around. Yeah. Who knows? All right. Okay. This is it. Big for good things. Oh. That looks. It looks cool. Cool. Uh, um, Chronicle collectibles. That could be really cool. Looks like, oh, uh, yeah, Blade Runner, mm -hmm. Blade Runner, really, really cool. Uh, we were just talking about it during the, the yeah. core crate unboxing. Uh, the coloration, I believe, may be right. Um, I haven't seen Blade Runner for a long time. Um, really good movie. Um, I'm actually partial to the theatrical version, which some purists would say I'm not. Ridley Scott's. I, I like the voiceover narration by uh, Harrison Ford in that, and a couple other nuances with it, because it's the one I saw and fell in love with. Uh, speaking of which, there's something that was ordered quite some time ago that may be arriving in the next few <laughs> weeks, specifically uh, from Blade Runner. But we'll have to wait and see. So that is. Cool. Decker. Um, yeah. And we've got a follow-up for item, and this is exclusive for Loot Crate DX. So let's see. Let's see this. So you can only get it here. Or until somebody puts it on eBay. Yeah. I'm having trouble opening things today, so. Yeah, it's like, no, it's pretty good. And I'm gonna peek at it and not tell you what it is. Oh, very cool. Something I've actually really been needing. Nice. New headphones. Very cool. Very cool. They're collapsable headphones. Yes. Oh, they snap into place. Are they comfortable? Yeah. Can you hear me now? <laughs> oh, he jump shipped and he went to that other. Yeah. Product. We're not going to see either one of them. Uh, cool. Neat. Ball up for a headset. Yeah, it looks like there's free music to download. Um, it says, be sure to try out your headphones in the wasteland with number one smash hit, Fallout Shelter. 
Visit falloutshelter.com and download for free today, which I know they have the radio and the game, so I think that may be what it's alluding to. So we've got a mystery box. I should just stop reading because now I know what it is, kind of, sort of, but we're going to get into it anyway. Um, oh, this is on I'm going to stop edge. at this point because it yeah. looks anime <laughs> uh, This is from Mirror's Edge, which the new game just came out. <gasps> oh my god, this is really cool. Okay, so it's, uh, yeah, it's Mirror's Edge Catalyst. I've actually been in the market for a new watch, so this is perfect. Nice. Um, yeah, this is really nice actually. It's got her, the tattoo marking she has, and that's really nice actually. Very cool. I really like that. Look, there's even, wow, there's some, uh, there's some markings and everything even in the band yeah. itself, the leather band. And she has this, like, tattooed on her. That's really cool. That's really sharp. And this is a Hook Red exclusive, and that's, that's really cool. Very cool. All right. Oh, and it's even, it's keeping you more in the dark, because now it's, because oh. it's even yeah. wrapped. So They're it's very a, serious about the pins now. It's secret. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Oh, it's Decker. <laughs> Speaking back to Blade Runner. Uh, very that's cool. cool. So it's, uh, yes, the, the badge. Decker back to the the Blade Runner theme. Uh, I do like how they're they're connecting the dots, they're linking the two crates together, uh, almost making you want to definitely have both yeah. so that you can have everything uh, to complete it. Uh, very neat. Mm -hmm. um, well, that's yeah. nice, sharp. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, you're putting more about that. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> John Carpenter's classic. Uh, one of Kurt Russell's, I won't say early roles because he did start off in Disney. Uh, Escape from New York, uh, cult classic. Wow, that's a big, oh. <gasps> big, big book. Holy Here's cow. Oh, wow, this is really cool. Obviously, um, not excited about art books at all. Yes. Wow. Uh, okay, so it's the art of Bioshock Infinite. And this is a Loot Crate exclusive. Um, this is probably going to be worth some money. Because <laughs> this is... Um, really cool. Yeah. That is... Wow. Yeah. Very neat. Really cool. All right. And the Loot Directory. Again, uh, I've said this before uh, when we've done the DX boxes. You know, even the insert, not that the catalog is, you know, uh, trashy in the core crate, but it's just nice. The trifold's nice. It's it's nice quality, um, you know, breaks it down beautifully. Of course, yeah. you know, with the Blade Runner exclusive and then, uh, and, and Mirror's Edge. So you got Nuka-Cola on one side. That's actually really cool. And Fallout 4 on the other. Yeah. Later on a big pin, retirement gift from your runner days, display with pride.
Well, that wraps up the DX for June. Mm -hmm. um, it was really cool. It was. I'm, I'm happy. A uh, little disappointed with the weight, but um, <laughs> no. I mean, yeah, it, it's a good crate. You know, it connects the dots. You know, some. Uh, this is the third crate. Uh, some of them have really had a wow factor to us, and this has got some good stuff. It's very unique things that I wouldn't have thought of, you know, like the police car. And of course, the watch mm -hmm. is an immediate hit in the art book. So right there alone, uh, you know, cool factor for Kendra. I like the car because I'm a Blade Runner fan. So uh, yeah, you know, uh, the only thing I could have said was they could have done something die cast, uh, like they did with the the bat uh, plane, but. It's still sharp, mm -hmm. um, so I like it. And assuming the headset, if the headphones, you know, stand the test of time, then then I'd say you know it's a, it's a home run for us. But um, how much is this a month? Forty nine ninety five. Okay. Yeah. So. You know, so just for, the art book alone, like just this would be like thirty to fifty. Yeah. I mean, if you're definitely if you're comparing the bang for the buck, mm -hmm. if you're getting your money's worth, I would say absolutely. Yeah. I mean, you're exceeding it. Uh, with everything that's here, uh, but you know we've been we've been happy. We're three for three. Been happy with most of the stuff here. Some things are crazier than others for us, but um, yeah, I'm I'm exceptionally curious to see what was the holdup in customs to get the DX out, and I don't know if it's that watch or not. Not that it really matters, but there was a thing where they were having problems with customs to get them stuff in. So, in any event, uh, cool cool crate um, like it gonna keep enjoying it uh, next month's main core theme NDX is futuristic yes. um, which I think they've done in different ways before but hopefully they're gonna take it to the next level with the core and of course the DX crate and um, hopefully we'll get stuff on a little bit quicker time frame I know sometimes new things takes a little while to get going, so I should mm -hmm. be a little bit more patient because when it does get here, it's good. Yeah. And even though it gets kicked around, they're keeping it safe for us, so we do appreciate it. Yep. Um, definitely some Rick and Morty items for next month. We saw that on the website, so that's always cool. So this was a really cool uh, DX this month. Uh, it was definitely worth the money, and um, all the items were exclusive, obviously, so that's really cool. Um, and I think that our, our, our book definitely made it worth it And as always, we want to thank everybody for taking the time to watch. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share with your friends. Until next time.